Hey anime fans, welcome to our channel Anime Rewind. In today's video, we will recap the first season of the 2018 anime series, Gun Gale Online. So without wasting any more time, let's get to the video. In the online virtual reality game, Gun Gale Online, a girl named Len and her teammate M compete in a squad jam event as a team. After taking cover, the two watch as one skill team eliminates another and they deduce that the opponents must be experienced fighters who are using GGO to hone their combat skills. While the other teams try to get rid of each other, Len and M go to a residential area to figure out how to beat the pros. Len speaks up on the pro team and attacks them from behind, taking advantage of the fact that she is small and fast. The pro team members who are left have no choice but to quit. Karen Kohirimaki has a problem with being tall, so she gets interested in VR gaming. However, whenever her Len avatar is too tall or does something else crazy, she gets scared and logs out. Karen plays a few games before she decides to try Gun Gale Online. She is happy with the small character that is made for her, but then she finds out that the game she chose is about shooting and surviving. Karen decides to keep playing anyway. Over time, she gets better at the game and changes her outfit to a pink one that she likes. When Len is surrounded by other players, she uses pink camouflage and speed to beat them all. She quickly becomes known as the Pink Devil. Later, another female player named Pituhi befriends Len. She helps her pick out a new gun, which she calls Pichan. Pituhi and Len form a squadron together and Pituhi tells Len that if she can beat her one day, they will meet in real life. Pituhi tells Len about the upcoming Squad Jam Team Battle Royale Tournament, which is based on the Ballad of Bullets tournament that just happened. Pituhi can't join because he has other things to do, so he suggests that Len enter the tournament with another male player. After her friend fails to get her tickets to a concert on the same day, Len agrees to play in the tournament. She meets her partner, M, and finds out that, as part of a plan, she has been put in charge of the team. Later, Karen writes a letter to singer Elsa Kenzaki, whose concert she couldn't go to, telling her how her songs had helped her through hard times. M gives Len a combat knife on the day of the squad jam to use as a backup weapon before the tournament starts. The competition for squad jam is still down to its final three teams, and Len and M are currently competing against another team that uses hovercraft. M stays hidden behind a shield and eliminates the opposing team with the help of his sniper skills. He does this without making use of the game's assistance systems. M starts reading a letter just as the rest of Shink is closing in on them, and he immediately makes a move to kill Len. When Len activates the safety on M's gun, he completely changes the course of events. When questioned about what he did, he gives in, which surprises him, and he cannot explain why. M reveals his true identity and explains that he was afraid of what would happen to him in real life if he died in the game, because he feared what Pituhi would do to him. Because of this, he attempted to eliminate Len in order to assume leadership and then surrender. Len abandons M and makes an attempt to take on Shink all by herself, but she winds up falling into their ambush. Len comes to the conclusion that she cannot flee, so instead, she confronts Shink head on. M quickly comes to her assistance. Len engages in a decisive battle with the remaining member. Pi Chan comes to her aid and she prevails on the fight by making use of the knife that she stole from M. After some time has passed in the real world, Karen decides to get a haircut to demonstrate that she has conquered her complex. She also comes into contact with a group of high school students who later reveal themselves to be the competition that she faced in GGO. The Rhythm Athletic Club that Len faced as Shink in the Squad Jam went to Karen's house to find out her secrets. Later, when Karen is on her way to Hokkaido to see her parents and hears about the next Squad Jam event, M's real name, Shi Aski, approaches her. He tells how Pituhi became obsessed with Sword Art Online during its beta test and was angry that she couldn't take part in the SAO incident, which was a death game. 
Pituhi might kill herself if she loses the next clock jam. So she asks Karen to beat Pituhi so that they can keep their promise to meet up in real life. Karen calls her best friend, Miyu Shinohara, also known as Fuka Zero, and asks her to join her team. Miyu agrees to help. Fuka Zero gets some money from Shi when she gets to GGO. As her main weapons, she decides to buy a pair of grenade launchers. On the day of Squad Jam 2, Len and Pituhi have a short argument before the tournament starts. Squad Jam 2 starts with Len's team on one end of the field and Pituhi's team on the other. Fuka Zero has trouble right away when a booby trap blows off her legs for a while, but Len takes out the first enemy team without too much trouble. The two then go to a the two then go to a train station where Len tells Fuka Zero how to throw grenades at the enemy. Len figures out that the seven teams that have come together at the base of the mountain are all working together to bring Pituhi down. Even though there were a lot of other teams, Pituhi and her team set up an ambush and killed all of them in 10 minutes. While this is going on, Len and Fuka Zero are making their way through a dome. When they are found, they have to use a smoke screen to hide after killing the other players in the dome. The girls have to deal with the last player, Clarence, for her remaining magazines before facing the skilled double MTM team. Len tells Pituhi what's going on and Eva from Shink helps her out by making double MTM run away. Eva then leads Shink in an attack on PM4 using the dead body of one of their own team members as a base and an anti-tank rifle to destroy M's shield. This gives Len the chance to go straight for Pituhi, but a sniper from the other team hits her first, leaving her with just a little bit of health. Since Pituhi was unconscious and Double MTM was getting closer, the rest of PN4 gave their lives to protect Pituhi before she woke up. After Pituhi kills Double MTM on her own, Fuka Zero holds Len in place while she and the rest of Shink attack Pituhi and M. Even though Shink is destroyed, Len is inspired to take action and tricks Pituhi and M as they chase her in a car. Just as Len is about to be cornered, Fuka Zero comes to her rescue in her own car. This starts a car chase between hot gazers that ends with Len and Pituhi facing each other alone. Pituhi tries to kill Len. Pituhi tries to kill Len with her own weapon, but Pichen blows herself up. She's still able to stop Len's counterattacks before killing M for betraying them. Fuka Zero, on the other hand, gives Len the chance to kill Pituhi by reminding her of their promise right before she kills her. After Squad Jam 2 is over and Len's team comes in second place because the other team attacked them from behind, Gushi invites Karen and Miyu to meet their real-life Pituhi and tells them about how he and her became involved in a masochistic relationship. Gushi takes them to Elsa Kenzaki's house, where it turns out that Elsa is really Pituhi. Karen already knew who Pituhi was, because Elsa and Gushi knew details about her that they could only know from reading her fan letter, but she is surprised when Elsa kisses her. In a scene after the credits, Len and Pituhi are back in Gone Gale Online and having fun together. That's all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed watching this video. So, who's your favorite character in the series? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so that you'll never miss any updates.